Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're gonna to continue working on finding the area of shapes, and we're gonna focus on word problems today. But don't worry, don't let those word problems scare you or make you nervous. We're gonna work on them together. So our learning goal for today says, I can solve word problems involving area. So the materials that you'll need are dry erase board. Okay. All right, so our first problem is the area of Theo's banner is 32 square feet. If the length of his banner measures four feet, how wide is his banner? So the first thing, friends, remember we talked about, do you want to talk about is this a one-step problem or a two-step problem? What do you think? Yeah, it's a one-step problem. So let's talk about the information that we know. What information do we know about the area and the side lengths? What do we know? Yeah, we know that the area is 32 square feet, and we know that the length measures 4 feet. What do we not know? What information do we not know in this problem? Yeah, we don't know how wide his banner is. So that's what we have to solve for. So when I see problems like this, I want to draw... Um, an area model. Now remember, an area model is just a rectangle, so we're trying to find some side lengths with our rectangle. Okay, so here's my area model that I'm drawing. I have the area is 32 square feet, took that right from the problem, and then the length is 4 feet. I don't know the width of this one, so I'm going to label the unknown as W for width. And then if the length is 4 feet and the area is 32 square feet, can the width be less than four feet? So what that means, friends, that might be kind of a tricky question, but think about it. If the one side of the rectangle is four feet, can the other side be anything less than four and still get a total of 32 for the area? So you have to be able to multiply, right? We just multiply length times width to find the area. So let's say the highest number could be like four times four, because that would be anything the same as four or less. So 4 times 4 we know is 16. So we can't have the width be anything less than 4 because that would be less than our total area of 32 square feet. So because of that, we know that our area, I'm sorry, our width has to be greater than 4. Okay. So nope, sure can't. Now is the area model I drew an accurate representation of the rectangle in this problem? What do you think? If we know that my length is four feet, but my width has to be longer than four feet, does that match what my picture is? Do my side lengths look like they could match? No, they sure don't for this one, okay? Because my width has to be longer than my length in this example. So you guys are gonna pause the video. I want you to draw just kind of a quick sketch like I did of what do you think that rectangle should look like. Well, we already know that the length should not be longer than the width. Okay, so you're gonna redraw the rectangle to look similar to, um, or kind of close to what you think the measurements might be. You don't have to solve it yet, you're just drawing the rectangle. So pause the video, draw the rectangle, which would be closer to being accurate than my drawing, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, your new rectangle could look similar to this, okay? Because we know that our width is going to be much longer than our length. So how do we find the value of W in this one? How do we find the width? Do we add? Do we subtract? Do we multiply? Do we divide? Yeah, for this one, we're going to divide because when we know the total area and one side length, we need to divide. So write a division equation to find the value of W and solve. So go ahead and pause the video, write your equation, and then solve for W, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. So here's the equation I came up with. 32 divided by 4 equals W. And then you would solve W as 8. So you could replace your W with 8 feet. So the width of Theo's banner is 8 feet. Now, you could 
use division to solve this, right? But now that you know your division problem, if you're not super confident with your division, use multiplication or skip counting to help you. You could count by fours until you get to 32. Okay, so that's just another strategy. Don't let division intimidate you. You guys got this, you're rock stars, okay? All right, so let's take a look at another, prob another problem. So the area of a piece of paper is 72 square inches. Margot measures the length of the paper and says it is eight inches. What is the width of the piece of paper? So friends, when we look at this problem, what information do we know? We know the area is 72 square inches, and we know that the length of the paper is eight inches. What information do we not know? Yeah, we don't know the width of the paper. Okay, so here is my quick sketch of my area model. I know that the total area is 72 and the length is eight inches. I don't know the width for this problem, so that's what we're gonna solve for. So how can we find the value of W? Add, subtract, multiply, divide. What are we gonna do, friends? We're gonna divide. Okay, so write a division equation to find the value of W and solve. So pause the video. You're gonna solve this problem and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here's the equation that I came up with. So 72 divided by eight equals W. And then W equals nine. You could check this by using that trick with your fingers with the nines. So put down the ninth finger and then you should have 72 modeled. If you don't, then that is the incorrect answer. All right, so we'll replace nine here. And then the width of the piece of paper is nine inches. All right, so let's look at another one. Amir is getting carpet in his bedroom, which measure seven feet by 15 feet. How many square feet of carpet will Amir need? So here I can draw my model, okay, seven by 15. The area is seven times 15, because I don't know the area, but I do know that I could multiply the length times the width, so seven times 15 to get my area. Now how can we find the area of Amir's bedroom since the measurements are so large? Remember we've talked about these, these numbers, 15 is a big number to multiply by. So what, can, what strategies could we use to be able to solve this problem? Well, one, we could break the room into two smaller rectangles and add the areas together, right? We've learned how to do that. Or you could break apart one of the factors in seven times 15 to come up with a multiplication sentence that's easier to solve. So what you're gonna do is choose one of these strategies and solve it using that, that method. And then you can click play and I'm gonna actually go over both of them together with you. So go ahead and pause the video, choose one of these strategies. Are you gonna break it apart into two smaller ones and add? Or are you gonna use that distributive property and break apart one of those factors to make it easier to solve with multiplication? So choose your method, click pause, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so the first way that I'm going to do this is by breaking it into two smaller rectangles and then add. Okay, so I just choose to break it here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I didn't get out and measure anything exactly. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So I'm gonna say this is nine feet and this is six feet because I wanna use that trick on my fingers with the nines to be able to multiply. So those are my two new rectangles, seven by nine and six by seven. So seven by 15 is really now seven times nine plus seven times six. So seven times nine is 63 and seven times six is 42. So if I add those together, the total area or of square feet would be 105. Now, if I chose to use the distributive property, this is how I would solve it. So I would take my 15 and I'm gonna break it apart into a 10 and a five. So that seven stays the same because you can only break apart one of the factors. So now, to me, this is way easier. Seven times 10 is 70, and seven times five is 35. 
Add those together and it's 105. So Amir will need 105 square feet of carpet for his bedroom. All right, so right on, you guys did a great job solving word problems involving area. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <laughs>